A very good morning to you. A thick frost this morning. It's Wednesday, the 29th of November. And Nikki and the kids came back yesterday. Uh, very sad, very tiring time away down Cornwall for them. Very stressful and very busy time for me here in Burton-on-Trent. But it's done now. We're moving today. Uh, moving down to Willington. So two hours tops uh, down to Willington. We're going to walk up the Shodnell Marina, get uh, some more coal and logs and kindling and things just to keep us warm. It's minus three here this morning. Right, we're gonna get the engine fired up and let's go. So a nice little cruise for us today. And I can't deny I'm pleased to be moving. Burton on Trent's been good here, been handy a little more in. But I've sort of been confined to barracks. I haven't really been allowed off the boat because uh, obviously I can't leave the puppies. But it feels good to be moving and it feels good to have Nicky and the kids back on the boat. Yeah, it is. It's nice. But uh, oh, lovely to be moving again. So one lock today, Dallo lock, and it's just in front of us. It's going to be very slippy. Well, Steve's just come out of the lock. He left before us. There's a boat coming up. But unfortunately, Steve shut the gates. So uh, Nikki's on her way to, uh, to open the gate up. There's a nice painting on the wall here showing the heritage of Burton-on-Trent. And obviously, it's brewing. Unfortunately... It's hard to have perspex put in front of it. Yeah, the local artists. Boat's just coming out, so we're going in. Lovely smell of hops and the brewing in the air in Burton. I do like that smell. Brings back memories when I was in art college and the art college in Wrexham. Just packed onto the Wrexham Lager Brewery. And we can smell this all day. <laughs> right, let's get chugs in. So much work has been done on this lock to make it look pretty with all the ironwork and the paintings. Just a shame the paintings have had to be covered up with the perspex because of the graffiti artist. Also the grass needs cut in here. Sounds like I'm moaning, I suppose I am. And somebody's put so much artwork in here just to let it cover up by nature, it's a shame. It is. Well, we're just waiting for Steve at Horninglow Basin. Steve is there. He's just using the services. Yeah, Steve's just using the services. And uh, obviously, we're waiting here. You can only get one boat in. So we're waiting for uh, for Steve to be done. And then we can go in and uh, do our bit and then carry on. No more locks today to Willington. The very noisy A38 goes over the old wharf here. Used to be a former salt uh, warehouse here. No sign of it now. Mm. 
Yeah, there's a toilet here, there's a water point, and there's an Elson point, but nowhere to put your rubbish, although some people have dumped their rubbish here. There are rubbish points a little bit further down in Willington. Uh, it's a shame that people would do that, but it's a very, very slow water pressure here, and we are aware there's a boat waiting. But we've got to get water, and it is what it is. Well, that's Horninglow Services done and dusted. And am I glad to get away from there? Very, very noisy and very, very slow water. But now we're on our way. Hello. Yep, on our way now to Willington. I would estimate about an hour and we should be there. Bridge 32. one bird <laughs> you can hear them oh just saw some starboard side with some cattle in but unfortunately to the port side you have the drone of the very very busy A38 once again when the doors and the windows are shut though it wouldn't bother us um, it's a lovely view looking at the fields and the cattle over there very nice We're just coming up to the aqueduct going over the River Dove and the River Dove is very swollen at the moment. Lots of rain we've had. Um, this once appeared on one of Turner's sketches with a barge going over. Very nice too. And it still looks very nice today. Beautiful. And there's the very old Monk's Bridge going over the River Dove over there. And there is the River Dove.
Well, at last, that's us moored up in Willington. A lot more than two hours, Stephen. But yeah, it's been freezing. It's been a lovely cruise though. The sun's been out, it's been really nice. Got the chugger buggy ready there. I'm gonna get the pups in that and we're all nipping to town. Got a nip to the shop and everything and then get ourselves sorted for a nice cozy night on the boat. Fire's roaring. To be honest, I'm looking forward to a bit of grub and to sit in the warm with Nikki and the kids. We'll catch you next time we move. See you later. A very good morning to you. As you can see, we are not at Wellington. It's Sunday the 10th of December and as you know Team Chugs we've had a bit of a rough trot of it uh, this month we've lost some dear friends and in fact uh, Nikki's lost her beloved Gran um, it's just been a very traumatic time we've had issues with the boat and quite frankly our heads have been spinning um, we woke up in Willington one morning and we were iced in the canal was froze up so we waited for it to thaw and we thought Team Chugs needed a little bit of a treat so we have come in to Mercia Marina the largest inland marina in Europe in fact it's 74 acres here of marina 24 acres of which are the old fishing lakes here at Willington and there are plans for a six million pound makeover here they're changing some old office offices and some huts for some more award-winning constructions like this and I have to say we have loved it here absolutely adored it here Nikki's a little bit upset this morning as really she doesn't want to leave here the beauty of it is we're on electric um, the kids can have the telly on whenever they want down the back we central heating is on virtually whenever we want we do have to watch the fuel uh, but we've enjoyed it the comfort of it for us continuous cruisers especially with two small children has been amazing and I've got to say everyone and I mean everyone here at Mercia Marina has been amazing. Just on the little square here, there's a lovely little canopy thing like gazebo and all the kids can bring some tins of food and donate them to a local, local food bank and they can see Father Christmas and uh, indeed little Noah went there yesterday with us and saw Father Christmas and got a lovely little present off him. Absolutely amazing. Just over there in the corner is a shop called Still Waters. Now that is the go-to for the boaters here in the marina, especially us continuous cruisers that are just coming in. They do have residential moorers here, so they've probably got cars and don't use it as much. But to us, it is the nearest shop. It has all your toiletries, wines and spirits, beers, frozen foods, ice creams. It has everything that you would need for the casual boater there. And we've used it several times. Um, very, very useful. And just on this square here, there are other shops. There's a jewellers. If you're so inclined to have a look in the jewellers, we haven't been in there. And to be honest, we haven't seen that many people in there either. But uh, yeah, it's there if you want it. But the one place we have been in over there is Lotus. Lotus is an Indian restaurant and takeaway here. They do chips if you just want a portion of chips. And the kids have enjoyed that. And Nikki and I and, and the kids have actually been there for a meal. And the food is amazing. It really is. And the convenience, I mean, the, the Indians there and the boats there so the convenience of it is brilliant very friendly staff limited menu I do have to say that uh, as regards to like an Indian in a town or something an Indian restaurant but the food was beautiful uh, cannot complain at all and then of course you've got all these facilities here which we'll have a talk about when we get going but we've got to get the boat ready and unfortunately we're leaving Mercia Marina and here comes Santa now and his merry elves for the kids. There are children waiting there. It's lovely. Mercia Marina. Top job.
What more could you ask for? Every mooring here, including the visitor mooring, has its own water point, an electric point, uh, everything you want here. And in fact, the water is heated. I know that sounds silly. Now, I've been on other marinas and they've promoted, yes, our water pipes are heated. And trust me, they haven't been. They've all been frozen. But we came in here and it was freezing. I put the hose on and the hose actually started to steam. You could have had a shower in the water. It was lovely and warm. Uh, so you do have running water here, even in the worst of weather conditions. But we're near enough ready to go. Uh, wind's getting up a little bit, but it's not too bad. We like it here. Um, we really do. In fact, it just goes to show the community here. We have got quite a few subscribers. We've met quite a few on here. And the other night we were sat, uh, showering uh, Noah. Noah was having a shower. And the pump seemed very slow. And the, the fan seemed very slow. And it turns out that we ran out of electric and it was out of office hours. We messaged a subscriber on here, um, oh, lovely Jane and Mark, uh, our two subscribers, and they, they, they watched the channel. And she had some electric on one of her cards, bless her. And she came round and rescued us. So we had electric uh, for the extra night. So thank you very much, you two. And it's been lovely to meet you. And thank you for the shortbread biscuits too. It was great. But yeah. We're sad as we're leaving Mercia this morning. The one thing I do have to say is we're not getting paid for this, you know. This isn't a paid production or a promotion at all of Mercia Marina. This is our feelings. We really do feel quite strongly that boaters should come in here. Don't be afraid of its size. Uh, I've been, well, we've been made so welcome by the Moras uh, and everybody here. Um, it's definitely a marina to visit. Don't be put off. From the get-go when we arrived uh, even booking in with the reception staff everybody was friendly and it doesn't seem like an act they seem like they genuinely want to make you welcome here we're both sad aren't we nikki's out of the wind she's hiding in the boat i don't blame her it's not looking good today what's been your favorite bit darling i don't know really being hooked up to electric. Food's been good. Food's been good. Uh, lovely. The Lotus, as I mentioned earlier, the Indian. We've also been to a place called the Willow Tree and they do fry ups and breakfasts. And there's another cafe here. I can't remember what's it called. Beetroot something. Uh, it's the Beetroot Tree. The Beetroot Tree. Uh, that was very nice, uh, even though we didn't go in there, but we've had recommendations of there. And lovely, lovely service and food in the boardwalk which is basically uh, the pub here. Yet yeah, the boardwalk seems the place to go. Um, it's basically a pub, but they do do food. 
Same as a lot of things in a marina, you do pay that little bit more if you were to eat there, but it's the convenience of it. And it is good food, it's a lovely place. Yeah. It seems like we're getting paid for this, but we're not. And that wooden hut that you can see inside, several times a week, people meet up there. It's the floating games room. Uh, there's tea and coffee supplied, or you can take your own food and drink. But yeah, good community spirit here. Yeah, even though this is the largest inland marina in Europe, you don't feel like that. All the little moorings here have got their own little pods and pontoons for the original fishing lake. It's gorgeous. We've just moored up at the fuel point here and I am pulling the trolley. <laughs> We're using the Elson point over here before we go. We can get uh, rid of the Elson and we can get rid of the rubbish and then we're going out on the canal. I'm really quite sad. <laughs> so that's the Elson done. Take care. Yeah, Just going under the main road now as we leave the marina and as you leave, as you're leaving on the starboard side is a very large, well stocked and reasonably priced believe it or not, uh, Midland Chandlers and we did use it, didn't we? Yeah we did. For shackles, logs, kindling, what else did we get from there? Um, we could have got everything from there. Coal. coal, we got coal, that was reasonably priced. Um, oh, we're really fed up, I don't want to be going out really. I think we're going soft. It's been absolutely wonderful. There was clothes shops. There was clothes shops there, yes. Ladies clothes shops. It was more for the ladies than the fellas. There was beauty, nothing. Uh, beauty shop. Get your nails done. Yeah. I don't know whether the, you could do your hair, no, but you could get your nails. It was nails. It was like a massage in there and that. Didn't know about that. I'm going to try and get this boat out on the canal. It's windy. <laughs> Yeah, we're back to our own loos. I've got to say, the facilities blocks were lovely there. They had a ladies and gents toilets. There was ladies and gents showers. Uh, also, a laundrette. And Nicky Hammond, the laundrette. We've got clean bedding, everything. Clean kids, clean bedding, everything. Dogs are filthy, but we're all clean. So that was good. I'm just trying to tell everything that was there. What else was there? there? Oh, security was top notch. They give you a little fob, you do pay a deposit for it. Um, and they give you a little fob and that opens the doors, which is pretty good when you're pulling a cart or going to the Elson block. That was really handy. And it made a nice beep noise, very satisfying. I think I'm losing the plot. There's a boat for sale. Mm -hmm. Nice. Sailorways. Sailorways. I promise you, this is not a paid promotion. We're going on and on. In fact, Nikki's got a list. <laughs> she actually got a list somewhere because we said we want to mention a lot. Kids love the Christmas lights. Um, they have gone to town with the Christmas lights. They love the There's too, Christmas right? lights everywhere. Unfortunately, though, we did have a, a light tunnel outside um, the boat, and the boat was lit up orange all night. It was very bright, wasn't it? 
but it was gorgeous, not criticising it. All the marina was just sparkling with lights. And now we're waiting to see Father Christmas. I've already told oh, everyone about that. Yeah, I don't know who was more excited, you or no one. I know, uh, little Lily didn't want to go. I don't know why the camera did that, I didn't do that. What did you do? I went, Lily didn't want to go. It's not doing it this time. It zoomed in. Am I going to hit? No, I'm not. Yeah. What else? Do you need your list? What list? We're doing this off the cuff. Okay. We're doing it off the cuff. Off, off the cuff. And what did you think of the sculptures? Very varied and interesting, weren't they? I mean, some of them, yeah, I would call them very varied and interesting. There was Neptune. Yeah. He looked after the laundry. He did, yeah. And there was a rather funny-looking piranha fish thing, not very welcoming as you go in. <laughs> yeah, there was the fish. He was overlooking the boat sails. Yeah, and we um, had the... Was it a swan, the bird that was yes. near us? Yes, was it bird of fantasy or bird, bird of uh, something? Happy. Bird of happiness. Yeah. There was lots there was different several. ones. Some yeah. weird ones and some nice ones. Yeah. There was boat trips. Why didn't we go on a boat trip? I don't know. It would have been a novelty. Really? Okay. Is that a boat coming our way? I think it is. Oh, it's moored up. That's all right. Thank you. As I say, we were made really welcome and we were walking back from the laundry one day, which is very unusual. I, in fact, well, it was every day we went to the laundry and we were walking past Willow Tree and just walking past and there was a knock on the window and a lady was waving us to come in and offering us a drink. And it was Mark and Tracy. Thank you very much. They viewed the channel and they saw us walking past and they treated us to coffee and cakes and they gave money christmas money to the to nikki uh, to nikki to lily and noah which was very kind of them and then mark asked me if i use a torch well i do because i've got no night vision he said i've got a torch in the van uh, i'd like to give you one one of the torches i think he had his own company I don't mind this tree that's it and he came out with this bloody enormous torch now i'm gonna sort of not do a review on it but i'll show you the torch at, at another time it's huge I'd be like Darth Vader walking around the marina with that. Thank you very, very much, guys. We haven't even opened the box yet. Um, but we will, and we'll show everybody, but it'll be at a later date. But thank you very, very much. cover. The aptly named TARDIS. Feel nice to be out, Dolan. It is nice to be out. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it does feel nice. And it's dry. <laughs> for now. Today. At least we got the added bonus. Well, we have to be at a certain place for Christmas. But we'll be alright. 
as long as the River Trent plays ball. We're hoping for a quiet mooring tonight. We've got no idea where we're going to moor, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we can go too far. We've had reports of a tree down in between Bridge 36 and 37 and they were supposed to be doing that on Friday, getting rid of it on Friday. So we've got a bit of a wait and the River Trent is also flowing a bit high for us uh, to get back to Alrawas. So for the time being, we're sort of stuck up this end. I'm sorry for the wind noise if it's windy, but I can't do anything about that, I'm afraid. Uh, we do have some more people to thank. The lovely Will and Debs. Uh, more subscribers? We did meet a lot of subscribers. But Will has a knack. He can make some of the best pork pies you've ever had and scotch eggs. And we devoured them. So thank you very much, Will. They are absolutely gorgeous. That was well, nice. Really, really proper homemade stuff, you know, not this processed stuff. It was really good. And you enjoyed that Scotch egg, that's your favourite. I'm, I'm into pork pies, I like pork pies. And who else did we make? You're not doing very well. Anne and Terry. Anne and Terry. We met them up in the Leeds, Liverpool. Hello, Anne and Terry. And uh, Anne got in touch when she noticed that we were in there. We have met Anne and Terry before. Uh, but we realised one night that we'd run out of puppy pads. And trust me, <laughs> we need puppy pads. So if you do see us, a puppy pad would be very nice. Um, and they offered to go to the shop. We ran out of puppy pads. So they picked some puppy pads up for us. So thanks, Kat. Uh, I think that's everyone. I'm trying to think now because it was a few, wasn't it? If there's anyone else, we'll be back in a minute. I'm going to press the road, darling. through this area there's a lovely smell of food I don't know what it is but it smells delicious um, it's not your soup either because Nikki made a soup last night we're having that for dinner when we more up leek and potato today uh, but we do have to say one more thank you and I'm sorry to keep going on about Mercia Marina but I'm not really honestly if you're a boat to get your backsides in there because it's amazing but a big thank you to a lady called Vicky um, who got us in touch with a few people there and helped us out when we were there so thank you very much Vicky and keep in touch and hopefully uh, we'll meet up with you somewhere who knows and Nikki just passed a comment now look at the towpath we never had that problem in the marina when we walked the dogs and we took the pups out as well didn't we <laughs> what a bloody nightmare that was um, bark 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 squeak they were a pain <laughs> a, a real pain but the more we do it the better it is but that towpath isn't going to be good for doggies tonight no. or us <laughs> no, I don't want to walk on that no 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 Look at us, all moored up already, just under the very nice actually bridge 
25. Um, we saw Armco. We have got the A38. I think it's the A38 over there. Doesn't bother us. Windows shut, centre hatch shut. We don't hear it. We're not bothered about that. We haven't got much of a view here, but we are shielded from the wind and there's no real high trees. So all is good and it's only for tonight. We're planning to move on, uh, popping into Shobnall uh, tomorrow to get a few more supplies and to get some more fuel and then onwards and hopefully uh, tomorrow we're gonna meet Steve at Branston Water Park. It isn't like wet and wild in Florida, it's a couple of lakes and you can walk around them and uh, we're hoping to take the, the Lily and Noah to go and have a look around there and walk the dogs. But this will do us for tonight. This is enough for today. I'm going to go in now and have that lovely leek and potato soup that Nikki made. She's heating it up right now in there. Uh, she's got it on the stove I think, heating it up. And we're going to settle down. I've got a little bit of editing to do so as um, Nikki, a little bit of editing and sit down and relax. Thank you, Mercia Marina, and all the staff there, and all the new friends that we've made there. We really enjoyed this day. As I said, this is our and my recommendation. Um, Nikki and I both feel that it needs promoting, and boaters, don't be afraid. If it, I know it's the largest uh, marina, inland marina in Europe. Don't be afraid of taking your narrowboat in there. It's so easy to navigate in there, and it's really quite wonderful and we're hoping to revisit there after that six million pound has uh, been used to to do all the renovation work that they're doing there so i'm looking forward to seeing it again in a few years time we'll definitely definitely return catch you next time folks bye for now